It's a fascinating story and very spider webby. Just tell us what caused some of the tensions. Very spider webby. So early last year, this woman, Alex Court, Alexandra Court, got um, promoted to lead institutional sales, global client relationships. When that happened, about 22 people were fired. Um, at that time, you know, uh, there was a lot of concern about whether um, there was a non-business relationship between Mark Walter and Alex Court. Now, the company has said there is no non-business relationship, but if there were, it was fully and promptly disclosed to the board. Since then, the revenue has also dropped at the asset management unit, and that's contributed to a small decline in the overall value of the firm. Fascinating. Now, these are two of the main characters, but there are lots more characters here, including Michael Milken. Right, yeah, so uh, Michael Milken, he, people have always wondered kind of what his relationship was with Guggenheim. We found out, for example, that in um, you know, 2015, the SEC, Guggenheim had to pay about $20 million to the SEC, and the SEC had been wondering what, um, you know, what kind of relationship they had. Did somebody at Guggenheim take a personal loan from Mike Milken? We found out that that person with a $50 million loan from Mike Milken was Todd Boley, Guggenheim's then president, who is now, who is since left the firm. Let's talk about Mark Walter, Sonala. We saw a picture then. He, of course, is the chief executive. Um, you've reported that he's looking to separate his interests from the firm. I mean, what else has he been up to on the side? Right. He has a lot of personal interests on the side. He has a huge, um, you know, uh, plantation in Florida that has rhinoceroses and giraffes. And, you know, something we read in his college papers, he said all he's wanted to do ever was to own a farm. And so he has that on the side. He also is an owner of the Los Angeles Dodgers, the baseball team, the Los Angeles Sparks. And he, with the old owner of the Los Angeles Dodgers, he's created a, um, another investing venture, about a billion dollars on the side. With Frank McCourt. Yeah, I mean, a, a lot of people, Sonali, are leaving. I think you're reporting that more than 60 in two years. I mean, is the concern that that will continue? I mean, who's left, who's big, and how many biggie, b big names are remaining? Right, that, you know, and the 60 doesn't even count all of the people that were in the 22, so uh, that were fired early last year. There were really big names. If you even put the time horizon off a little, a little more, it was Todd Boley, the guy that was connected to Milken, like I had said. There's also Ross Levinson, the former CEO of Yahoo, actually worked at Guggenheim for some time, running their media enterprise. So then they no longer have this, this enterprise. Uh, then also, you know, everybody that, uh, that sales and distribution team, handfuls of portfolio managers, the 60 people also includes, um, surprisingly, people on the investment banking side where revenue was up 13%. It's fascinating. How much more will we learn? And are there more court documents to come? Will this be all kept hush-hush? I mean, we definitely will see, right? I mean, the market asked a great question. We had more than 60 people leaving within the last two years. You know, what happens from now until the, at the end of the year?